Hello, welcome to Laurie Fay Art. It's Laurie here. This picture that I've done is a watercolour pencil picture. It's a collaborative with the lovely Dina Tollefson. In the description below is a link for Dina Tollefson's YouTube channel. She has some really good challenges. In fact, every challenge that I've done with Dina is, is it's been great. So if you're into doing collabs and doing challenges keep an eye out for those because I feel that they really they help bring people together and they're they're really good prompts okay so a little bit about the superb fairy wren we have these superb fairy wrens where we live which is southeast Australia they are amazing little birds they really have an absolutely gorgeous little song and research shows that they they sing to their little eggs their little chicks while they're in the egg and when the chicks come out the little chicks know who their parents are because apparently the females sing too um, and they know who their parents are because of the song because it's unique to them I thought that was really cute another little fun fact is that the fairy wren um, change color they they don't stay uh, blue they are brown and then when mating season comes around which is really really close for us we're just coming sort of through winter so very soon in the next six to eight weeks we'll have these little blue guys jumping around the place and uh, they they become beautiful blues with the black and for a little bird that's quite risky because they're easy picking for, for predators when they stand out so that's a really cute fun fact um, another little fun fact for you today is that um, the size of the eggs that the superb fairy wren lays is all indicative of what is going on in the climate so the egg size is adjusted to suit the climate whether it be too dry or too hot or whatever the eggs are either bigger or smaller the chicks development isn't affected by the climate so that's another little fun fact anyway I'll let you watch the video I did use a brush at the end to do the background most of the picture was done with pencil uh, and the rest was just done with a bit of a I had some paint left over from something else that I did and used that for the background because I just really liked the way the green and the blue blended together which kind of mimicked the background of say with trees and a sky I hope that whatever you do today, you have an absolutely amazing day and I will see you next time.